Picture Friday. The freshest. <laughs> All right. Matilda Medley by Lea Salonga and Sang de Torres. This is a little this minion. Is freaking she's amazing. Fantastic. This is literally up well, my not, musical alley. She's not alley. small, right? She's like, I don't know, 14, 13 right now, but this should be cool. Let's do it. Oh, yay. I love Matilda as a musical as well. It's a great musical. That's, that's that child that has like a possessed. Powers. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> oh, look at her. It's just the same thing in your head is red means in my head when someone says red and how if we are traveling at at almost the speed of light and we're holding light that light would still travel away from us at the full speed of light which seems right in our way but I'm trying to say I'm not sure but I'm wondering if inside my head I'm not just a bit different from some Such a complex tempo. You know. sits down it's like oh fuck oh excuse my language it's just swear, really yeah. it's really interesting because what's really difficult about matilda the the score in the musical is that there is a lot of um half note uh advancements in the song so like they they, they cause natural tension and build up because the 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 storyline is so uneasy on une exactly so it gives a lot of uneasiness through the music as well and it's actually very difficult to maintain a, a singing quality with a speech quality too in very similar tonalities that change uh, through certain phrases. So they become monoton they become uh, monotonous throughout uh, uh, four four bars, six bars, and then they change they they change the key completely of the song and. It's and very it difficult, again, yes, it and again. it's very difficult because that that natural, um, what's the natural inclination of, of of humans is to maintain that melody and maintaining the the plateau effect of of that one note being sustained throughout the whole phrase is actually a very difficult, difficult thing to 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 have. She, I think she's doing a fantastic job. It, this is a she was very here. difficult song. But it is mad that like Leia is just sitting there. Like, and just, just sitting there and just enjoying the Like show. a coach. No, she's standing there like, yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like she's sitting there like a coach. Like, observing yeah, yeah, yeah. things Me we too. can work on, things you're doing unbelievable and things like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a reassuring face to have though. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, I, I've, again, I've never been in theatre. I've never performed in theatre. Don't intend to, don't want to. But the, the, uh, the experience I've had in the sporting world I believe it probably is the same when you have someone that you've trained with or someone that trains you, looks at you, that's like, oh shit, you know what I mean? He's like, looking, am I doing right? He's analyzing everything I'm doing yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know he's making notes, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I'd so imagine this is probably the same for her. Yeah, yeah, most likely, Because that's yes. her coach, you know yes. what I mean? That's the person she's been coached by. And also, is Lea. Literally the queen of musical theater. Yeah, so can you imagine? Go on. Crazy. Just that still sort of quiet <laughs> Like the sound of a page being turned in a book Or a pause with a walk in the woods Quiet That's crazy 
Jesus. That's nice, that's nice lyric. Even the tempo is very difficult. turns into a woman though when she's singing like it's, it's so weird i don't even know if that's like you know what i mean but panic my brain is like not comprehending it just turns <laughs> i see it's a switch it's a flip there is and it's like obviously coached but it's like bloody hell like oh i love it 
But there are certain mannerisms there that are so that are there are so layer, and, and you're also, like, oh, we don't know the other people she has worked with, you know, absolutely, behind the scenes and stuff like that. So, but the diction, the modulation, the even the way she holds the microphone and she carries herself. Well, look at that picture right fantastic. there. Just put that picture in picture. I mean, come on, you're looking at the future. Literally, you're looking at the previous generation. The queen is passing down the crown. Oh, it's I just mean, fantastic. what a photo that is. <laughs> it really is fantastic. What the hell? <laughs> Of the, of the Matilda show, but it's not. It was a it's the last show. show, and you know, it just happened to have. Whoa, what a Santa memory, man. Torres Anyways, I was gonna say, what I was gonna say was. Um, that is freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, like what, you know, what memory she's creating at this age, you know, this, this is something that when she's growing older, she can also look back into and stuff for that. Because in this age, it's very interesting because there's not much self doubt, there's not much stuff going on. You're kind of just always in the moment, you know, yeah, and you're this yeah. young, you're learning, you're a sponge. Uh, and then when you turn 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, these are kind of the years we're trying to really figure out who you are yep. and where you're going. And it might be, it might seem clear for someone on the outside of like, you know, your future is going to be amazing. But when you're in there, you don't, you don't know. You really don't have a clue. And but it's actually so true. So it's, it's, there's some memories, very important memories, I, I feel, for someone that talented to be making so that they can look back at them and, and realize that, that's hard, hard, strong evidence mm -hmm. that you are meant for something great. And regardless of self-doubt, because that's one of the things that people don't seem to understand about these very talented people, is that self-doubt is their worst enemy. It's not actually yeah. talent or skill or hard work or ethic. Yeah, they have true. that. They have built that. It's in, it's in their blood now. Uh, she has the work ethic. She has the skill. She has the talent. It's actually just self-doubt. And those psychological battles that you go through when you're growing up of 15 to 21 you're trying to figure out who you are sometimes so you know 15 until 29 28 you know so it, that that's my that's kind of my my why well, i see this and i kind of smile when i see moments like this because these are the moments that i feel are gonna really really have Shape, an impact yeah. in her personality mm -hmm. in her career and in her how she looks at herself and uh, i really do hope that the future is bright it obviously does look bright but you know, uh, it oh, depends what on what she wants to do, but it's amazing. Ooh, what an opportunity! Amazing. Ah. And I'd, I'd love, I'd love to hear Leia's take on her. Me like, too. What is this? What Leia? Maybe this is what Leia's goal is now, right? Pass the crown down, pass the legacy. This is what most people seem to have when they get to that level. They want to make a legacy. They want to leave a, a, a print in the world and, and carry on the the. The, the, the talent and, yeah, and, and yeah. sort of skills they have built. Skip past the platoon type exactly, of thing. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Anyways, if you would like to uh, support the podcast and uh, reactions like this and breakdowns like this and stuff like that, do you can do so by purchasing, uh, for example, these amazing joggers that we've designed in the Future Friday store. The link will be in the description. It's worldwide shipping, it's affordable, and it's also insane quality. Hence why we're making a problem. Uh, that's my two-second plug, which is actually more than two seconds. But anyways, let us know what you think. Check it out, and uh, peace. Bye.